gosh. I hate this game. Like, I can't even concentrate. Got freaking tomahawked. Someone can't open, but break the window with their knife. And nobody on our team can kill them. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Switchfoot Clan here today. And welcome to Is It Worth It Saturday. And this video is a very special video. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I was feeling like doing some damage on some people. And uh, I hope you like that first little part right there. It's like, I hate this game. I, the little backstory of what happened in this game. As I pull out my orbital VSAT and a kid threw his tomahawk to try to break the window. He wasn't even aiming at me and it hit me and I was just so angry. But anyways, I persevered and absolutely annihilated and was actually really close to getting a double swarm, I believe, in this gameplay. But anyways, I'm using the MP7 with suppressor. Oh, gosh. Um, laser sight and fast mag, maybe, I believe. It's probably cl really close to what my class is. But that's not what I want to talk about today, actually. Today, I want to talk about the perk scavenger and what I think about it and is it worth it. Now, last week, I forgot to say, is it actually worth it in my last video? Are black hacks actually worth it? And my answer is no, because you're going to have to use too many points to spend to, like, make your actual thing. But today, we're going to be talking about Scavenger, and I am going to say absolutely 100% yes. If you have been a longtime fan or subscriber of our channel, you would know that every single stinking gameplay I have usually has Scavenger in it. 99% of the time we're going to have scavenger in it. You know why? Because scavenger is amazingly overpowered in this game in the sense that I get my C4 back when I pick up a scavenger pack. That's insane. Especially if I used to run a double C4 combo and in soccer guy 196 who gets another majority of our gameplays always runs a double C4, you're going to get so many easy kills off of that. And this thing is what I hate so much is when um, we're both going for gameplay. Because, like, you know, there's an orbital VSAT out, and I want to use my orbital VSAT to get mine. Because, like, now I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to just camp and wait until his goes away so I can pull mine out and get my points for my dogs. But, ugh, so, it's so stressful. But anyways, sca back to Scavenger. So, what Scavenger does for you is it replenishes lethals and tacticals in this game, as well as your your uh, main thing which is your ammo so if you're now this is why I like to use scavenger is because I'm a call of duty commentator and a channel maker I need to get gameplay gameplay requires lots and lots of bullets when you're getting merciless and relentless metals you're going to need a lot of ammo so if you're not planning for going high kill streaks or lasting forever there's no point because if you really need to survive a little bit longer to, you know, get like a lower kill streak, go ahead and do that. Pick up someone else's gun. But I like I have a very specific gun that I want to use and I know that I can do well with it every single time. So there I go getting my first uh not my like first first swarm, but my first swarm in this game, and then I end up dying because I I I it was just because I was being stupid and I was being impatient. But Anyways, um, I just love Scavenger. It gets the job done every single time. I never I, scavenger. You can't go wrong with Scavenger. Now, the one thing that I think that competes for attention in the uh, second perk block tier is toughness, just because it's a very strong perk in this game. In that, uh, in the sense of that, when you're getting shot at, uh, you don't flinch. So it, it's a very hard decision to choose for. Um, and if you want to use your perk to greed and get toughness and scavenger, that's what I would suggest doing if you're going to go for perk to greed. But I definitely suggest using scavenger if you're going for kill streaks um, higher than a stealth chopper, because pretty much you're going to be able to get that that amount of kills in this game. But the thing is, is that like you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I have 40 bullets in my mag plus 316 bullets in my uh, inventory. I guess you could call it. And, you know, I know that I'm not going to run out of ammo, so, like, the stress of that just goes away as well as I know that I'm going to get my C4 back, which is going to be really helpful in this game. And here's what happens. Uh, and then I'm just so mad. I'm, like, raging. No, and But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you try out Scavenger if you're going for high kill streaks. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below and if you want me to try something else.